Hi, my name is Joey, and I'm working on a project I like to call the number spiral. It's basically a simplification of the entire number system based around the 12 positions of the clock. All of your multiples are formed in certain positions, and all of your prime numbers are formed in certain positions. Basically, you have the number 3 bouncing in a square all the way up through infinity. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. 4 bounces in a triangle all the way up. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. What else begins to emerge is your prime numbers become easy to understand. All the numbers in positions 5, 7, 11, and 1 are basically prime. When they're not prime, they're semi-prime. But that's where all prime numbers are formed. The patterns 5 and 7, which are basically the first functional prime numbers, crisscross across each other all the way up. So 5 goes up to 10 over here, 7 goes up to 14 over there, and then 5 goes back to 15 at 3, down to 20, up to 25, 7 goes from 14 to 21, 28 to 35, you know, and every number has a pattern, basically. So you can see the pattern of 11 come down through here. It goes 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 13, 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78. So this can also be a game. If you understand your divisibility rules of how every number that's divisible by 3 adds up to be divisible by 3, say for instance 2 plus 1 is 3, which is 3, 3 plus 3 is th 6, which is divisible by 3. And then if you understand that your multiples of 4 are all an even cut in half, it's still even, right? So 20 cut in half, it's 10, it's still even, it's, 20 is divisible by 4. So what happens is that you try to figure out where the number fits. If a number is divisible by 3 and 4, it's also divisible by 12, so it would fall in this position right here. If it's only divisible by 3, it has to be in these four positions. If it's an odd number and divisible by 3, it's in these two positions. If it's even, it's in these. If you understand that any number will fit into this position system, then you can come up with any number and then place it. Say like the number 150. 150 is 1 plus 5 plus 0, which is 6, right? So that's divisible by 3. You cut it in half, 150 is 75. That's not even, so it's not divisible by 4. So if it's an even number and it's divisible by 3, then it has to be in position 6. All odd numbers divisible by 3 are in positions 3 and 9. So um, that's basically it. A, uh, a number system based around the 12 positions of the clock that allows you to see the system of composites of multiples and prime numbers and where prime position numbers are formed. Check it out. Draw one of your own. That's almost it. I don't know if I, I'm not really sure. I feel like I, there's so much to explain but it's so hard to like just do it. Hi, my name is Joey, and this is a project I like to call the Number Spiral. <laughs> hey, I'm Joey. <laughs>